Hello designers, today I'm going to show you how to save your Illustrator files so they're ready to be brought into InDesign. So in Illustrator, once you've made all of your edits to your final edits to your Illustrator file and you've made your final save, let's go ahead and add some bleeds to this file because we're going to need them over in InDesign. So usually you will start with bleeds having them set up, but uh, on this document I didn't, so I can show you how to add that if you also didn't. So go to File, Document Setup. You can also hit Shift-Command-P to get this up. Right here is the bleed section. Make sure they're all linked together, and you can just hit up to give yourself an eighth of an inch um, for, of a bleed, and that's perfect. Just hit OK. So now we see our bleed marks show up around the trim line there, and that's good to go. There's also the bleed marks showing up between each artboard. So for this part of the um, process, we do not need to export our spine design. We just need our front cover and our back cover. We're going to save those as two separate files. So let's click on the artboard tool just to bring up the titles of our artboards, just to double check what they are. So my front cover is my artboard one. My back cover is my artboard three. So let's go ahead and do the artboard one. I'll hit Command S just to save this uh, Illustrator file with those bleeds there. OK, now I'm going to go to File and Save As and hit, I'm going to save to my computer. You can save to the Creative Cloud if you'd like. We're going to be saving Cover 1 because in InDesign we called that outside front cover, Cover 1. So I'm going to change my title to my novel Cover 1. Over here in Format, we're going to save this as a PDF. But then at the bottom, we're going to choose Range instead of All. We'll choose Range and put a number 1 for Artboard 1. If yours is also called Artboard 1, then that works for you, and hit Save. Then here in our um, Save Adobe PDF, we're going to choose High Quality Print from this Adobe PDF Presets dropdown. On the um, general window, I like to choose View PDF after saving. So this is automatically going to launch Adobe Acrobat to show us the final product there. Click on Marks and Bleeds in that left column and check All Printers Marks. Then below that where it says Bleeds, check Use Document Bleed Settings. Now that we have the bleed settings set up, you can see that they're grayed out there, but it's given us an eighth of an inch there to work with. That's all we need, so go ahead and hit Save PDF. And now we'll let it create it. I'm going to hit Command-0 to show the full document in Adobe Acrobat. So you can see that our trim lines are here, but we have this nice quarter of an inch extra in the bleed area there. These are all color bars. This is our grayscale. Um, these are registration marks. So this, this is ready to go. And it also has the title up here, Novel Cover 1 PDF. So let's go ahead and get out of here and save our back cover. So I'm just going to go to File, Save As again. Save to my computer with my other one. Um, this one is going to be my novel cover 4 because we called the back cover in InDesign page C4 for cover 4. Change my format to Adobe PDF. This time I'm going to change my range to Artboard 3 and hit Save. Um, the settings are probably all going to be the same, so it's called custom because we chose high quality print but then changed all these things in there. So I'm going to leave custom selected and just double check. I have view PDF after saving. I have all printers marks checked and I have the use document bleed, so I'm good to go. Hit save PDF. And I'll hit command zero to zoom out. I just like to check those bleeds there and it all looks good and it says at the top novel cover for PDF. So now I can close out of Acrobat. And um, then let me look at my travel poster. So for this one, since this is a special size, I do not need to export this with bleeds. I'm going to be reducing the size of this to fit on my page. So um, it's not going to extend out to the bleeds. So in this case, you can actually just bring over the entire Illustrator file, like the .ai version of it, or you can save it as a PDF with no bleeds. Okay, so that would just be going to File, Save As, and save it as a PDF. We don't have to worry about the artboards because there's only one. And then we can choose high quality print, but from the marks and bleeds, we do not need to choose any of these 
options here and just hit Save PDF. Great. Gorgeous. All right, so let's go over to Illustrator InDesign real fast. And then this is my cover. So I already drew a frame on this window. I'm sorry, on this page. So I can just hit my selection tool and click on it and go to File Place. It's also Command D in InDesign. And I'm going to go find that novel cover one. There it is, and hit open. Great. So now this just automatically placed it exactly right, which is nice because we had our dimensions correct. But you can see, let me zoom way in, that um, let me double click and I'll just expand this window so you can see it here. You can see that our registration marks, our trim marks, I mean, line up perfectly with the trim line of this page. All right. So when everything is harmonious like that, it just automatically works out in, Illust in InDesign. OK, so we could do the same thing for our back cover. I'll go to Pages, double click on C4 at the bottom there. I can get rid of this outside back cover placeholder text, make a frame there, drag it from the corner of my bleed line to the opposite corner. Hit Command D to place. Go find that novel cover four file. And it placed it perfectly there too. Great. So then if I wanted to bring in that poster that we made, I'll say like somewhere near the beginning. How about it looks like I have a text a frame already made on page four. I will click on that frame there and hit Command D to place. I'll go find the poster and hit open. Now, like I said, this is a much larger picture of the dimensions than uh, my frame there. So I can go over here into the properties panel and choose content aware fit. See how that works? Worked out pretty well. Let's try the next one. This one is center content. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to go ahead and just double click. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Double click and drag in the corner holding down uh, shift to constrain the proportions. I'll make sure it's within my uh, margin guides that I created there. That looks good to me. Let me zoom out a bit. And then it looks like it could be centered a little bit better on the page. So it's a little bit further out of the gutter there. And then I'll click again on that frame and double click on the corner. It will snap the frame around the image inside. And that is perfect there. Okay. All right. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks so much for watching.